One pot of comforting chickpea soup is about to go down right here, you guys. It is loaded with veggies and laced with warm flavors. Even the meat lovers out there are going to want to try this one. Okay, we're going to turn on to medium-high heat. Grab some good extra virgin olive oil, the start of everything delicious. Oh, do a good drizzle here, a couple, two, three spoons tablespoons that is. And we're gonna get it nice and shimmering before we add our veggies. <laughs> this party is starting to shimmer and that's what I'm looking for. These are going to go in the pot, no big order here. Celery, onions, carrots, and bell peppers and sweet potatoes are all going to happen. So let's do it. Celery, carrots, Red bell peppers, you know, you can change the veggies up whenever you want to. You can do regular potatoes if you want, whatever, you know. Get this party going. A little bit of salt and pepper. It smells amazing. And what we're looking for here is just to kind of get the veggies working and sweating and softening, you know, all the good stuff. Now we're gonna grate some ginger, about one tablespoon or so. We're gonna go in with the garlic and the chickpeas. And now my spices. Cumin, same thing. Turmeric. Maybe three quarter teaspoon or so. And I am using a dash of Aleppo, but you can use red pepper flakes. Either way will work. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm. There's a thing about like blooming your spices and I think they just mean, you know, the spices release. So we're letting the spices do their magic and release their aromas and all of that. So it smells like heaven in my kitchen right now. So now we're gonna add our liquid. Going in with some crushed tomatoes from a can, no big deal. And then we need about six cups of broth. If you were thinking, I want it to be more like a chickpea stew, use less broth, you know, it's so simple like that, you know? And then allow everything to kinda like really soften and kinda build volume. I'm coming, oh, it's a little heavy, <laughs> but it's so worth it. We've got a couple of finishing touches that are super important to the flavors. Oh my gosh, a good cup of parsley I chopped earlier. You could also use cilantro, because it's so good with turmeric and all the warm flavors in here. Tiny bit of ginger. A nice big squeeze of lime juice. There are lots of other soup recipes, by the way, you guys. You might also like to check out my Greek lentil soup. Mmm, I can't wait to dig in. You guys, grab the recipe for this ginger turmeric chickpea soup over on the Mediterranean Dish.com. I will see you later. Ciao.